What's happening guys? Welcome to RCH Tech TV. Today in this video, let's compare Asus Max Pro M1 and Nokia 6.1 Plus on the lines of design and build, display quality, gaming performance, battery performance, sound quality and many other things guys. Make sure to watch this video till then and also make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And also guys, complete list of specification and buying links are given in the description box below. Kindly check them out as well. Now, there is stark difference when it comes to design and build guys. So as you can see, uh, Asus Max Pro M1 comes with a metal back panel and has plastic edges this kind of has that industrial look to it industrial design and um, on the other hand uh, nokia 6.1 plus comes with glass back panel and has metal edges this definitely looks and feels very premium guys um, and it's also pretty compact to hold as you can see it's pretty compact pretty handy to hold as you can see uh, it, it has that 5.8 inch form factor this has uh, 5.99 inch or almost 6 inch form factor now another thing if you notice guys uh, nokia 6.1 plus has slight amount of camera bump whereas uh, the camera module is neatly flushed onto the surface on asus max pro m1 nokia 6.1 plus comes with type c port whereas um, asus max pro m1 has uh, that old micro usb port now design is a subjective thing guys both look and feel pretty good uh, they're unique in its in their own terms now it comes down to your priority or preferences so if you need a compact device with glass build then you can go with nokia 6.1 plus or else if you need slightly bigger form factor with a metal back panel then you can go with asus max pro m1 now coming on to display guys uh, nokia 6.1 plus comes with 5.8 inch full hd plus display uh, whereas uh, asus max pro m1 has 5.99 inch uh, full hd plus display now if i have to exactly show you um asus max pro m1 has slight amount of warmer tint to it as you can see whereas whites look pure white on nokia 6.1 plus and also guys even in terms of brightness or dimness um, nokia 6.1 plus can get very bright outdoors and also it can get very very dim in indoors uh, this definitely is again pretty good for your eyes so if you have habit of reading late night or in low light so definitely this is um, this display panel is pretty good even in terms of viewing angles guys as you can see nokia 6.1 plus slightly has better viewing angles and this also has that uh, notch design guys as you can see uh, it, it comes with 19 is to 9 aspect ratio whereas uh, asus max pro m1 has 18 is to 9 aspect ratio so in terms of overall quality guys i feel uh, display is slightly better on nokia 6.1 plus next guys both have their fingerprint sensor placed on the rear side exactly if i have to show you the performance then nokia 6.1 plus is slightly faster as you can see slightly faster and slightly accurate as you can see right and uh, both also have a face unlock guys but i feel face unlock is very accurate and very convenient on asus max pro m1 let me quickly show you so as you can see uh, it unlocks uh, the phone perfectly fine and it's also pretty secure guys as i mentioned because it does not unlock if you close your eyes if i have to show you exactly as you can see uh, if i close my eyes then it won't unlock once i open it'll unlock but uh, on the other hand guys this comes with that uh, stock uh, face unlock uh, which is provided by google so it unlocks and stays on the lock screen as you can see and uh, you'll have to you know swipe to get to home screen uh, that is one thing which i don't like second thing is it's not secure guys so even if you close your eyes it will uh, you know unlock the device so that's uh, not a good sign as you can see even if i close my eyes then um, it will unlock the device as you can see so guys um, when it comes to fingerprint sensor performance i feel nokia 6.1 plus is better and uh, when it comes to uh, the face unlock i feel um, you know asus max pro m1 does slightly better now when it comes to battery life guys asus max pro m1 has 5000 mAh battery uh, and uh, nokia 6.1 plus comes with 3060 milliampere battery i did get 8 plus hours of screen on time on asus max pro m1 whereas i did get 6 plus hours of screen on time on nokia 6.1 plus so definitely this is good for like two days of usage whereas this comes down to a uh, little over a day guys and uh, one more good thing with nokia 6.1 plus is it comes with fast charging it supports fast charging but uh, the charger provided in the box is not fast charger um, you'll have to get it separately you can get it on amazon for around 500 rupees or so i'll leave the links in the description box below you can check them out here's the quick stats guys on how fast it charges right and um, one more important thing is sound quality guys now both have their speakers placed on the bottom side as you can see and in terms of sound quality i feel asus max pro m1 um, is definitely better uh, when compared to nokia 6.1 plus it has very good bass quality it has very good voice clarity and it's also pretty loud so here's the sound sample guys you can judge the quality Don't ever forget you're golden I will find a light in your 
Alright guys, now speaking about performance, both come with Snapdragon 636 processor and Adreno 509 GPU. It's a 14 nanometer processor guys, uh, which has custom cryo cores. It's a pretty capable and pretty good mid-range processor. It can handle all the day-to-day -day tasks and heavy game pretty smoothly. So both perform equally good for the price at which they are available. Alright guys, now looking at some rare camera samples, conditions were overcast. Auto focusing was slightly slower on Asus Max Pro M1 and sometimes it also struggled to focus on macro objects which resulted in images being blurred. Uh, bokeh effect in normal mode on both these phones was average and could not be compared to Mi A2 or Redmi Note 5 Pro in this price range. Colors were not that accurate on Nokia 6.1 Plus and were sort of natural on Asus Max Pro M1 and uh, also Asus Max Pro M1 handled exposure slightly better I believe. Both did good in terms of HDR pictures highlighting shadows and details. And both were also very good in terms of portrait mode with perfect edge detection clearly demarcating the subject from the background. In terms of low light both had flare effect and if you zoom in you could notice slight amount of noise as well. So the cameras are decently good guys nothing excellent but in this price range if you want better cameras then uh, you can have a look at uh, this Redmi Note 5 Pro and Mi A2 guys these definitely have better cameras uh, in this price range uh, i haven't checked motorola one power yet so definitely once i check that i'll be able to tell you uh, which among these have better cameras all right guys now here are certain things which asus max pro m1 does better than uh, nokia 6.1 plus uh, we have already seen that it has better face unlock uh, convenient and secure uh, next it also has dedicated sd card slot guys whereas um, nokia 6.1 plus has hybrid sim tray um, asus max pro m1 has multicolored notification led light whereas um, Nokia 6.1 Plus does not have any notification LED light uh, but it comes with ambient display as an alternative option. Next we have also seen that audio is slightly better on Asus Max Pro M1 and uh, it also has front facing LED flash guys for taking selfies which should definitely come in handy in low light and ultra low light situations and plus pricing is also pretty you know affordable uh, so the, the base variant starts at 11,000 rupees so you're getting a Snapdragon 636 processor at 11,000 rupees so definitely it falls in that affordable category. Uh, next guys here are certain things which Nokia 6.1 plus does better than Asus Max Pro M1. First we have already seen that the fingerprint sensor is slightly faster second this is an android one device guys so you can um, you can make sure that your device stays up to date with latest uh, software updates and security patches as uh, the software is directly provided by google next this also has gorilla glass 3 for protection uh, it comes with fast charging and uh, as mentioned earlier guys this has type c port so type c audio is also supported so as of now you can listen to music but uh, you cannot take calls that is one thing which the software team sh i believe should work on now there are a couple of things guys which um, both do better like both have dual 4g volte that is uh, you can use two gsm cards on both these phones next they have all the necessary sensors uh, they they have the proximity sensor light sensor uh, gyroscope magnetometer etc and uh, as i've mentioned earlier the performance between the two is almost same and uh, even though not excellent but both have decently good cameras as well so guys performance being same uh, if you need metal build uh, better battery life secure face unlock excellent sound quality dedicated sd card slot front facing flash multicolored notification led light available at an affordable price then you can go with asus max prime one on the other hand if you need glass build superb display with gorilla glass for protection uh, better fingerprint sensor performance fast charging and uh, android one device then you can definitely go with Nokia 6.1 plus. So that's it guys. If you feel this video was informative, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, follow us on Twitter at RCH Tech TV, subscribe to us on YouTube. Most importantly, thanks for watching. I'll see you real soon.